Mother's Day is quickly approaching here in the United States and just in time for the holiday. And there is a wonderful new documentary coming out. It's called In Our Mother's Garden. I can't wait for y'all to meet the, the director of this wonderful film. Her name is Chantrell Lewis. She is just a culture icon of this new generation. She's a filmmaker. She's a photographer. She's an authoress. Authoress. She makes all kinds of stuff happen in the black world. And I'm glad to have her right here on the show. And she's also joined by Latham Thomas, who is... Uh, one of uh, the film stars. Uh, thank you both for joining me here on Black News tonight. Thanks, Mark. Chantrell, you, like I said, you do everything. Uh, what made you decide uh, to, uh, to do this film, which really focuses on the relationship between black mothers and black daughters? I'm a Gemini. <laughs> No, really, honestly, um, I uh, retired as a curator, and um, I've wanted to engage with a different medium of storytelling for quite some time now. Started working on a documentary about Swarte Pete and white supremacy in the Netherlands like 10 years ago, uh, and it, I, you know, it was just time for me to use another medium to uh, express my um, love of storytelling and. Um, helping to amplify those unheard stories in, you know, our community globally. Talk to me about the relationship between mother and daughter. I think that's such an important uh, piece of our community, piece of our culture. How did you take this issue up and, and, and what does it look like to you? Well, I had to start with myself. I mean, the title of the film is In Search of Our Mother's Gardens. I mean, In Our Mother's Gardens, which of course, is a nod to Alice Work Walker's, you know, groundbreaking text in which she says, you know, um, in, in search of my mother's garden, I found my own. Um, and so I had to reckon with my own relationship with my mother. You know, uh, for black women, our relationships with our mamas can be very nuanced um, uh, while also challenging. There's a lot of generational trauma that gets passed down. And as I contend with motherhood and mothering my bonus daughter and helping to raise her, um, as I contemplate motherhood for myself, I had to reckon with my own relationship with my mama uh, and, you know, and do so under this larger framework of calling on our ancestors um, to give us guidance and try to usher us closer to healing as a community. Latham, talk to me about your experience. Uh, you're one of the big stars of this doc. Uh, talk to me about it. Well, first of all, um, it was a pleasure to work with Chantrell because, as you already pointed out, she is a real visionary when it comes to storytelling. And what I think was so impactful was um, seeing the plethora of Black women and the display of vulnerability, which you don't really get to see when it comes to our community, and especially when it comes to our women. And as Chantrell said, you know, our relationships with our mothers are very complicated. And to see um, a sort of love letter to black womanhood and to, to motherhood in general also allows us to really look at not only um, how trauma has impacted our lives, but also how resilience is built in each of us and how that's actually carried us forth as a people. It was a pleasure to be involved. Um, I'm really excited for my mom to, to finally see it and, um, and for the world really to see it. Latham, one of the things that comes up in this film is the, the theme of resilience. Um, how important is resilience throughout history for black folk, but especially at this juncture in history? Yeah, I think it's really important because we have these conversations ongoing about trauma, which we know has actually deeply impacted our community. And it's also in our cellular DNA and it gets carried and passed on through us generationally. And we have an actual epigenetic blueprint that uh, that shows that where right? we can map the genome to see like how that actually shows up in our bodies. But we also have this incredible resilience in our community that, that shows that in our bodies also we've carried on through acts of resilience and practices that you know fortify us and heal us and allow us to be in community and embrace each other. Um, that's also in our tissues. That's also in our history. That's also in, um, in our family lineages. And so what I love about this project is that you get to also see what really makes the fabric of black womanhood, what it looks like to be the crux of our communities as leaders. And also there's an invitation in this film to recognize the softness and the sweetness 
and the and the beauty of Black womanhood. Um, there's a there's a constant refrain that shows up around us actually being soft and not wearing this um, cloak of of strong Black womanhood. We recognize our elders as being strong, but then also get to see how each of us was able to change the legacy to be soft in our womanhood. Chantra, what was, again, first time filmmaker, you, you learn a lot, you make a lot of mistakes. It's also very fun and very exciting. What were some of the big challenges and some of the big uh, rewards from doing this? I mean, one is the vulnerability that Latham discussed. You know, um, I, it was, there were two challenges. One, I'm being um, a steward of their stories. These women I invited, many who have mm. been close friends for many years, like our girl Tarana, Brittany Cooper, and Teresa, who I went to Howard with. We're going to talk about the last Howard <laughs> yes. But, you know, um, <laughs> but me having... <laughs> You know, me having to hold space for my friends and their delicate stories, but then also hold space for myself and this vulnerability, talking about my own trauma, my own survival, my own relationship with my mother, who I was reckoning with in real time, you know, uh, as a survivor of sexual abuse. And so I think that was the biggest challenge. I mean, Bell Hooks talks about that, um, how to tell our stories honestly. Um, and um, it... it to me, it's like I have to always show up as my artistic self, and I can't. I have to be in integrity. I can't ask someone else to be honest if I'm not willing to go there myself. Um, but the biggest reward, I think, for me also is that through that I, process, I was able to show my mama great. I mean, a lot of therapy, sometimes going twice a week. Mm. Um, there were moments also when I wasn't talking to my mom. You know, like I we were just not seeing eye to eye on how she was responding to my trauma and the way I was uh, being vocal about it. So I was willing to do the ugly, messy um, work of um, reckoning with my mother. And I'm, I'm just so blessed that she was willing to go there with me. Chantrell, uh, your film is being released by the queen, Ava DuVarnay's independent film distribution platform, Array. Uh, when it comes to independent filmmakers, how does Array create opportunities? I mean, in so in a plethora of ways. I mean, I remember seeing Ava's first film, I Will Follow, in a movie theater in New York, and, you know, just being so impressed about her telling stories and then, uh, you know, the visuals, uh, you know, working with, collaborating with amazing, you know, DPs like Brad for Young, who I also went to Howard with. Shout out to you again, you Morehouse man. Um, but uh, in terms <laughs> of getting us in front of larger audiences, um, uh, promoting us, uh, you know, uh, setting us up for success to then take even bigger and bolder stories out to the marketplace and, um, and, and, and to give a sign as, as uh, people of color, as black people, as women. Um, and I'm just so, so humbled and so excited to work with Ava for her support and her uh, belief in me and Tulane and their entire team at Array. So, um, and I've seen them support so many of my friends, Numa Perrier, uh, Marawi, who just did a film about uh, uh, gentrification in D.C., um, Blitz, you know, his film have all been released by Ray, and we have seen their, uh, their careers take off now as a result of that. Wow. Well, it's great work, and you are on a long list of dope people doing dope stuff. And I just got to say this to you in public because, you know, we often don't do this until people go away or they leave us, you know. I know, there are a lot of people who like to do a lot of things. You, we all got that friend or that person that be like, oh, I do everything. I'm an artist. I'm a DJ. I'm a notary public. They say they do all this stuff. And they don't do any of it particularly well. What makes you special for me is that whether you're curating art, whether you're making a book like Dandelion, whether you're uh, making a film like In Our Mother's Gardens, it's all dope. And you really are living evidence that black folk not only deserve beauty and deserve elegance and, de and, and deserve the best of us, but you go out and you make it for us. And so I'm just grateful to you. I'm also grateful mm. to Latham for hanging out with me today and spending some time with us uh, on Black News tonight. So I'm going to watch this film. Y'all make sure y'all check out In Our Mother's Garden. It will release in selected cities and on Netflix beginning Thursday, May 6th.